The epoxy concrete foundation crack repair kit is designed to repair hairline or wider cracks in concrete foundations and retaining walls. Injecting ATEC 212 into the crack will structurally reinforce the concrete and also stops water leaks. This is an easy to do repair process. By following these directions closely, you will have performed a successful epoxy concrete crack injection. ATEC 212 meets ASTM C881 standard specification for epoxy resin based bonding systems for concrete. ATEC 212 has a compressive strength of 12,000 psi and a tensile strength of 8,500 psi. Both of these properties are higher than standard concrete. The concrete wall surface must be dry and the crack cannot be actively leaking water. However, the interior of the crack can be damp. The temperature should be above 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Open the plastic bag included with the kit and place it on the floor. If additional floor protection is needed, newspapers can be used. Clean the crack surface with a wire brush. In this example, the crack is partially covered with paint. This paint must be removed and the crack open with a wire brush. Wipe the surface clean with a rag to remove dust. Start within 4 inches of the bottom of the crack and mark with a pencil or marker every 6 to 12 inches up the crack. This is where the ports will be attached. The tighter the crack, the closer the port should be. Separate the plugs from the injection ports. Do not discard as they will be used later. Insert the epoxy paste into the gun. Ready the epoxy paste port and crack seal adhesive by unscrewing the cap over the cartridge neck. Extract the plugs from the neck. Dispense approximately 4 ounces of epoxy paste into a mix bowl. Mix the two parts until a uniform gray color with no streaks is obtained. Apply a thin bead to the bottom of the injection port. Place the injection port over the crack where you previously marked the wall. Check to make sure the injection port hole is open and not covered by epoxy paste. This will prevent the epoxy from being injected into the crack. Allow the epoxy paste to cure for 10 to 15 minutes before the next step. After 10 to 15 minutes, Mix additional batches of epoxy paste. Build the epoxy paste to 1 8th to 1 quarter inch thick and 3 to 4 inches wide. Be sure to mount additional epoxy paste around the base and onto the neck of the injection port. It is very important to not leave gaps in the epoxy paste that can allow the epoxy to leak during the injection process. Unscrew the cap from the ATEC 212 LV cartridge. Extract the plugs in the neck of the cartridge. Place the crossover restrictor into the neck of the cartridge. This minimizes the contamination of the A and B parts of the epoxy. Place the quarter inch by 32 element static mixer onto the neck of the cartridge and place the cap over the static mixer. Tighten the cap securely. Load the cartridge into the injection gun. Snap the flexible hose assembly into the lowest injection port. Attach the other end to the tip of the static mixer. Begin injecting slowly into the bottom most port. Do not rush. Injecting can take up to 5 minutes per port. The tighter the crack, the longer the ATEC 212 resin will take to flow into the concrete crack. Allow the spring on the injection gun to push the material into the crack at a constant pressure. Once the ATEC 212 LV begins to flow from the next port, release the pressure on the gun, place the flexible hose into the next higher port, and place a plug into the injection port. 
Begin to slowly reapply pressure to the injection gun. Repeat until all the ports have been injected. 12 to 24 hours after the injection, the epoxy paste and injection ports can be removed. Remove them by chiseling or grinding. Also, the epoxy paste is paintable.